Our top story this afternoon, a summit between North Korea and the United States could be back on. U.S. President Donald Trump says it could even happen as previously planned on June 12th in Singapore. Park ji won starts us off. In his latest tweet on North Korea on Friday evening, U.S. time, President Trump said, quote, North Korea and the U.S. are having productive talks about reinstating the summit. And, quote, if it does happen, it will likely remain in Singapore on the same date, June 12th, and if necessary, will be extended beyond that date. Speaking to reporters at the White House earlier on Friday, Trump also suggested the summit could still happen on the previously set date, as discussions are ongoing. Well, no, we'll see what happens. It could even be the 12th. We're talking to them now. They very much want to do it. We'd like to do it. We're going to see what happens. Regarding a question on whether the U.S. is concerned North Korea is playing games, President Trump said Pyongyang is not the only one to do so. Everybody plays games. You know that. You know that better than anybody. Senior U.S. officials are backing up the possibility that the summit could still happen on June 12th. U.S. State Department spokeswoman Heather Nauer says Friday that, quote, there are always high points and low points in diplomacy and said the State Department is working on plans going forward. U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis also said the summit could still take place if diplomats can pull it off. In a surprise move on Thursday, President Trump announced that the summit was off, citing North Korea's tremendous anger and open hostility against the U.S. Some eight hours after Trump's announcement, North Korea's Vice Foreign Minister Kim Gae-gwan released a statement urging the U.S. to give more thought to canceling the June 12 summit. It also said Kim Jong-un was pouring his efforts into summit preparations, adding the North is willing to sit down face-to-face -face with Washington at any time and in any format. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.